everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we are going to do a video on the odds of the lottery. So here we go. As of October 15th, the Powerball odds are, uh, it chooses five out of 69 white balls or regular balls and one Powerball. So the odds are 292,201,338 to one. So here we go. I don't know how strong your math skills are, but we learned last time about factorial. So this is basically the equation. And this then is the breakdown of really what it is. So this is in math, so you don't have to go through and we're going to get this going. But you have first, first ball, second ball, third ball, four, five, then times 26 for the Powerball. So all right, let's just let's just jump right into it. So we need to do def odds. And what we're going to do is let's say you have a lottery that um, does not have Powerball. So this is going to have a bunch of stuff in it. This is going to have default. This is going to have uh, imports, the as keyword, the from keyword. So let's just get to it. And we're going to power is going to be set to false. Okay. Then we want to give some pretty good instructions. So enter number number of regular balls number of balls picked and and if they use a powerball wow okay so you will be asked for the number of Powerballs. Okay, let's close that out. Ta-da. So we're gonna do our from import, from import math, the math module, import factorial. And if you don't know what factorial is, go look at that video, then come back. As fact. So now Powerball is equal to one if this is false. So if this is false here. So now if power or P ball P ball equals int in uh, input How many Powerballs? Close that out. So I'll touch on this. You should all, if you've watched the videos, you should understand everything except you might need a refresher, right? Okay, back that out right here. So all right, our if statement, this has to be true. So basically, right now, this is gonna skip over this because this is defaulted to false so if true so if we change that to true then it will come here so that's what we're gonna do so then uh, return and here is this is the math of it where you go through and you do 69 divided by 5 because it's really 69 times uh, 68 67 66 65 because that's the way the factorial is because you're only picking that many because you're reducing the number through well then you're dividing it by the choices through but this is the actual math formula so that's literally what we're going to do and uh, PEMDAS rules you want to make sure you have absolutely everything correct with 
your parentheses. So, so that's the number of ball choices that goes first. So let's make sure I have, so boom, then the number of white ball picks and then also let's make sure close that out there we go parentheses are going to be what's going to hang you up in fact five and close and then times right there times uh, balls minus picks because it's this through this so that's that is it pick or picks it's pick close that out close that out there we go there and then multiply this by p balls so okay so that's why I set this to one because if we multiply that by one it won't change anything so that's why I've designed it this way so let's just call it let's run it and see how we did All right, so odds, and we get all our description. Enter the number of regular balls, balls, uh, which is 69. Then we're going to pick five of those, and then we want this to be true. So we close that out. How many power balls are there? The regular standard, 26. Well, look at what I did here. Fact. Let's rerun this. All right, because this should be what 292. So odds 69, 5, true, 26, and there we go 292,201,338 to 1. So there we go. Odds of the lottery tickets. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button and most important that notification bell because we do have awesome videos coming out every single day. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye guys.